Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make stickers with an extra lip around it or an offset. So what happens is you have the extra paper around your sticker, so it's super easy to peel off your sticker. All right, so let's get started. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Okay, so first off, I'm actually showing you um, a, the method that I saw from Corinne Blackstone. So her method is very similar to what I do, uh, so I'm gonna show you both ways. Her way, first up, is you're gonna get an offset. And she recommends 0.18, I, I think I've seen her do 0 0.20 as well. Uh, for, in this case, I was able, I tried 0.15 and it still worked. So I'm gonna use 0.15 because that just gives me um, a little bit more room on, on our print and cut limitations of 6.75 by 9.25 because the narwhal sticker is kind of big. So, okay, so at 0.15, I'm gonna apply my offset. And I've done it both ways, where the offset is print then cut, but also I've done it where it's just a basic cut. So I'm just gonna put a basic cut so that you can see it. Um, all right, so now that we have it, what uh, Corinne recommends is having three duplicates total. So she does a duplicate of the offset, okay? Um, mine worked with just two. So what ends up happening is the reason why you have the offset is that's the extra paper, right? So when you have two or three copies here, what will happen is your Cricut will cut your first sticker around the narwhal. And then because you have two or three, it will cut two or three more times around the paper, which will then cut through the sticker paper, which will give you the perfect sticker. So, um, like I said, my my Cricut Maker 3 cuts fine with just two, but if you find that it didn't cut all the way through, then you need a third layer. So, what you will do is you will bring your narwhal to the front. Okay. <laughs> want to grab that one, arrange, send to the front. Then you want to grab all three items and you want to align it and center it. This is basically how it's going to cut on your Cricut, right? So I want to attach it. Now we know that we can cut 6.75 by 9.25. So you want to bring in a square, which we will then unlock and change our size to 6.75 by 9.25, because we know that's the maximum that we can do for print then cut. So with this rectangle, now I'm gonna select it and go to Arrange and Send to the Back. And then now what you're gonna do is you're going to duplicate and fill this up, okay? So before we do this though, I wanna show you something. So let's delete this for now. Let's go to Make It. We're gonna get rid of this as well. Let's go to Make It and see how many stickers we can actually get on here, okay? So I know I've already cut this, I got nine narwhals onto my sticker sheet. So I'm gonna click nine and apply. And so what Design Space calculated is for nine stickers, I'm gonna need two sheets. The first sheet's gonna have six narwhals and the second sheet's gonna have three, okay? So let's cancel out of this. And let's bring back in that rectangle. So we're gonna unlock it, do 6.75 by 9.25, and send it to the back. Okay, so my narwhal is like a little funky shaped, right? So I'm gonna line it up, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, and see how many narwhals I can get. So, I ended up getting nine, like I mentioned earlier, by doing this. So you wanna make sure, you know, you wanna maximize your paper. And what you wanna do here is, I'm gonna hit shift and grab all three narwhals and duplicate. And I'm gonna do it again. So 
So what I was saying earlier with, uh, you know, Corinne recommends 0.18 or up to 0.2. Um, I wanted to make sure I fit all nine narwhals and at 0 0.10, it still worked for me. So here I have my nine narwhals, right? It's within this rect rectangle, so I know it's gonna fit. So I'm gonna grab all nine. And I'm gonna attach and look at my dimensions. It's 6.4, which is less than 6.75 by nine inches, which is less than 9.25. So I was able to get three, you know, I got all nine on one sticker. So really with the two sticker sheets that Design Space recommended, we would have been able to cut 12 only, right? Six on each page. Um, as opposed to using two sheets, we, we could have 18. All right, so that's Corinne's method. It's very similar to mine. Let me show you that if you ever need more space, this is what you can do. So let's grab this, let's detach it. So this is option number two. It is way clunkier than Corinne's method. I will not even try to convince you that it's not, uh, that it's better, but there is just one advantage to it. So you saw right here, this offset is counted in your print and cut dimensions of 6.75 by 9.25. If you go and do this next method that I'm about to show you, your offset will not be counted in that measurement. So what that means is you could get a little bit more sticker in there. In this option, you know, in this case with the narwhals, doing that other method is not gonna get any more narwhals, but you may need it for another project another time. So what you will do is you will detach this you still want your offset, okay? But the only difference is you're gonna create your nine narwhals on, you know, to print then cut. But you're gonna use this offset um, later and you're gonna go and do another project and you're gonna use snap mat. And so what happens is when you do snap mat on your phone, it has to be on your iOS or an Android. So I would use my iPhone. I would have my printed narwhals without the offset, all nine of them on a, the sheet of paper ready to be cut again, right? Because it already cut the first time. Then you're gonna do a second cut and this time you're gonna use snap mat. When you take the picture, it will have the nine narwhals. So it's gonna look very similar to this, okay? I mean, obviously without the offset. When you use snap mat and you have nine of these cuts, you're gonna then put Hold on, let me. On your phone, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see your mat and you're gonna move each one of these individually and you're gonna move it over your narwhal. And as long as you can't see the narwhal, then you know it's cutting all the way around the sticker and you'll have that extra lip. So, um, like I said, that is definitely clunkier but the offset's not included in your um, print then cut limits. So there's a, you know, <laughs> there's a purpose for that when you need it. I just wanted to show you because that's how I cut my original narwhal. So if you saw my stories from last week, that's how I did it. I did it with print then cut because I had tried Corinne's method before, before I saw her video. My mistake was, I only did one offset so it didn't cut through and it didn't occur to me to make a duplicate copy of the offset. So, um, but that's just what's so cool, right? With this community, like we all learn from each other and, um, you know, we make things easier and better and we can accomplish way more. So anyway, let me know if you have any comments or questions. I do highly recommend Corinne's method, method number one. Method number two is just to put in your toolbox for when you need it. There are gonna be those exceptions when that's gonna come in handy and it's good to know that you can use snap mat and you can split up your project in that sense. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time.